All right, I need to remember to save enough battery to make it up this hill on my way back. Because I do not want to have to push this 65 pound scooter up this hill. Hey everyone, this is Taylor. We're going on a scooter ride today. I'm really looking forward to it. We're in Grand Terrace, California. May need to tighten my stem a little bit. I had to put the scooter in my car and drive out here. Had a little family business, a little family affair. Grand Terrace is my uh, bit of a stomping ground for me. Spent a lot of time here when I was a boy. And uh, people are moving out of town. I don't really have a reason to return. So I thought, what a better way. Were those turkeys? Were that a bunch of turkeys? I thought, what a better way than uh, to, to kind of say goodbye to my stomping grounds than doing it on a scooter. All right, I wanted to see if these were real turkeys back here. It looks like they are. Chickens, turkeys. I don't know, man. I don't know if those are statues or what. What they're doing back there they are not moving that's kind of weird it's <laughs> so weird they had cows and chickens just not moving okay so i never rode an electric scooter out here uh, when i was a boy for obvious reasons so awesome look at this look at this so guys this is located in the inland empire man what a view i love finding views on the scooter you know i do look at that So are any of you out there familiar with the Inland Empire? Oh, you know what I want to do? Because I think you guys like it. Is to get a, a scooter with a view. There you go. There'll, probably, there'll be a lot of those uh, today. A lot of places where we're kind of looking out over the highway, over the... Over the landscape, I should say. So I don't ride these roads that often. I don't know about potholes, or I should say I've never ridden these roads on an electric scooter. So compared to uh, roads that I'm used to driving, I don't know if I'll go as fast. You hit a big hole or something else like that in an unknown environment, you can really be screwed. And I wanna keep my record going. I have not fallen yet. But with that said, I do like going fast. Look at that. Who doesn't want to just ride a scooter in such lovely times? I mean, it's about 85 degrees. Oh, look at that. Is that a little roundabout? I don't know if I'm allowed in there on a scooter. Oh, it's a dog park. I'm definitely not allowed. All right. See what we can do over here. So I can't sit here and tell you that there's anything that uh, special about this town. But let's see if we can find something special about it. It does seem like a nice place to ride. Let's see, let's get through this traffic. I don't think this guy sees me. There we go. Let's go check this out. What's this? It's probably a bunch of nails on here. This is like asking for it. For flat tires. Oh, ho, ho, look at that drop off. All right, 
Well, there you go. Scooter with a view. All right, let's keep riding. And let's cross our fingers. We didn't get a flat tire right now. I put slime in my rear wheel tire, but I gotta be honest, I can't remember if I did it on my front. I have had, on this scooter, I've had two flats in the rear wheel. Uh, the first flat was after, on the second day of owning the scooter. Oh, this is, oh, we're gonna book it here. I'm sorry. I said I'm sorry there I was apologizing to my battery because she ain't gonna last long at those speeds okay passing over the freeway looks like we got an electrical plant here I don't know what do you guys think that's definitely an electrical plant Edison there you go kind of cracks in the road when you have these small skinny tires you have on this Apollo Ghost and if you're going 40 you don't want to hit Woo, this is fun just cruising down here as fast as you can and get up that hill I love it I almost want to do it again simple things man simple things you don't even know until you're on a scooter okay. you know it's been so long since I've been here I'm not really sure I know generally where I'm going, I'm not really sure exactly, so. All right, well, let's go turn down, uh, I guess you could call it Main Street of Grand Terrace. There's not really, really much of one. But there are, there is a little town to drive through and I want to see what's changed. Like I think a lot of the towns in America, they, this town used to be a pretty old fashioned. Uh, a lot of the people that originally lived here, you know, there, there used to be just a bunch of orange groves out here and citrus growing. It has changed since then. Uh, as a young boy, there was a barber shop here we loved going to. They used to have Playboys out. Can you imagine when you're eight years old how fun that is? You go to the barber shop and kind of sneak in and look at the, the Playboy. I can tell you that barber shop is gone. Most people don't see you in the bike lane. Let's see if this guy notices me. I don't know if he ever did, didn't matter. Well, this person definitely did it. Thank you. Yeah, dude, I told you guys, you can't help but be cool on an electric scooter. I'm telling you, 
Oh, are you kidding me, man? This was, I never saw that stuff when we were here. What is that? Get out of here. <sighs> Times, they are a-changing. Isn't that what Bob Dylan said? And think, he said that in the 60s or the 70s, and it's still true today. Good times. All right, so I know that used to be that mountain back there. Once we get past this auto zone, you'll probably be able to see it better. It used to be called Blue Mountain. And the reason was every springtime it would uh, bloom with blue flowers. I don't know what happened to those blue flowers, but they don't happen anymore. Be really cool. And the shadow is in front of me and that means that we are near the end of the day I appreciate you all joining me on this ride through of my old stomping grounds really kind of a small town it was fun to show you the views and fun for me to say sayonara. If you guys like it, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe. And as always, scoot scoot.